Mono black versus mono white. The battle of the freaking century. Isn't it? Oh, yes, it is. There you go, my friend. You won't like what I'm doing here, but I will do it. Oh, my. brothers and sisters and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Matches Malone. Thank you guys so very freaking much for tuning in. We still have the giveaway where you can win over 15,000 gems in total, all of you. So check that out. And if you're a patron or member, you're even eligible to two freaking prizes. Just check out the video over my head and you will find out how to participate in the awesome freaking giveaway. Subscribe to the channel for fresh new decks every single day. Join the Discord. Now that we said it all, enough with the yammering. Let's get into the Discord hammering. I freaking love Discord. I know I'm evil. I don't care. I love Discord and I had to get it out of my system as fast as freaking possible. And uh, yeah, we have some new Discard cards, we have some nice removal in the early game, we have some nice sacrifice outlets and some nice stuff that really pushes the Turgrid a little bit more into a direction where I freaking love it. So, the new cards that we have in here is the Vengeful Strangler. It's a 2 mana 2-1 two that can't block. But when it dies, you can return it to the tra uh, battlefield transformed and it becomes a strangling grasp. And you can attach it to a planeswalker or a creature an opponent controls. And um, the enchanted creature that your opponent controls has to either sacrifice a non-land permanent or they lose a life. And we want to make them lose life as fast as freaking possible. So, and if they sacrifice something, our Turgrid is very happy about it. Then we have the No Way Out. Target opponent discards two cards, you create a uh, zombie, and uh, yeah, that is very nice because we can sacrifice either the Vengeful Strangler or the zombie to our Deadly Dispute and draw some freaking cards, which I like very, very much. And as soon as those cards are in their graveyard, we're playing the Graveyard Trespasser. And when it enters the battlefield, you exile up to one target card uh, or attacks. So, it's enter the battlefield or attacks, you exile up to one target card from a graveyard. From their graveyard, of course. And if a creature card was exiled this way, they lose one life and you gain one life. And it has ward, discard a card. So Turgrid is very happy about that as well. And when it becomes night, which will happen very easily because our opponents won't have cards in their hand. Uh... It transforms into a 4-4 with still ward discard a card and now you can exile up to two target cards from their graveyard if it's already night or if you attack in with the graveyard glutton when you play it. So it is very nice and they lose one life for each freaking creature and you gain one life for each freaking creature that you uh, made them uh, exile from the graveyard and that is just so nice. Other ways to make them discard are acquisition expert elephant disciple combo which is just so good because this is a cleric and any uh, acquisition expert will trigger its ability that says that you can look at as many cards as you have creatures in your party. So these two together, just a very nice team. And this is a rogue. So, but uh, yeah, we, uh, we have a rogue as well here with the acquisition expert. So it doesn't really trigger that, but it's still okay. It's still nice to know. So then we have a very nice package with the Shambling Gas Deadly Dispute because we're kind of a control deck so that we can get ourselves as much mana as soon as possible to play either a Meat Hook Massacre and then if our Vengeful Strangle dies we can put it onto one of their creatures that is too big for us and uh, they have to sack it or uh, I don't know they cannot do anything else but the Meat Hook Massacre just very freaking nice you play it for three Every creature gets minus one, you play it for seven, every creature gets minus five, minus five. And whenever creature control, opponent control dies, you gain a life, so we have a lot of comeback potential. And whenever a creature and opponent uh, uh, you control dies, each opponent loses one life. So that is very, very freaking nice, because we want to drain them as fast as freaking possible. All these little stings will come into fruition sooner or later. And once all of the creatures are dead, we can bring the two most important back, or even maybe three, if our Graveyard Trespasser is also in our graveyard, and we pay six here, we can bring three creatures back. The Shambling Guest, maybe our Aldefang Disciple, our Graveyard Trespasser, very nice, very freaking nice. Then the Turgrid's Lantern is also very good in control matchups, because if they don't have an answer, 
for the lantern, you will drain them for 3 or maybe even 6 every single turn, they have to sacrifice something, if they can't discard a card, and if a Turgrid and a Turgrid's lantern is out, even freaking better. So on turn 4 it is totally worth it to play the lantern if you're in a control freaking matchup. Also we have the soul shatters in here, so that we can get rid of planeswalkers, because the Metok Massacre and the Blood on the Snow should be used for creatures if freaking possible. And that is why we also have the Snow Covered Swamps in here, 3 Hive of the Eye Tyrant, so we can get in for the last bit of damage that we don't get through the Metok Massacre combo with all these creatures. It is just so freaking fun. And the final nail in the coffin will be Professor My Eyes Are Up Here Onyx. I love these two together so much, so freaking much. But this card decks are just brutal. And with Professor Onyx, whenever now you make them discard, they even lose two life. It is just so freaking nice. I like this deck a freaking lot. And if they have the board full of stuff, they kill your Professor Onyx, you just wipe the board with the blood on the snow, bring the Professor Onyx back, what else do you want? If you use the minus eight, they're gonzo anyways. And if they don't have any cards in hand and you use the minus eight, they lose 21 life. 21 life, just like this. And they're freaking donezo. So we have 23 lands only because I count one of the Agademus Awakening as land in the worst case. But all we need is 5 lands and a treasure. And with the deadly dispute we will get that treasure. So there's nothing to freaking worry about. This is the whole deck. It is very good against all these mono white decks. Thanks to the Meat Hook Massacre in the early game. The Blood on the Snow in the late game. All these blockers. Mono white dumps their hand so fast that if you make them discard something on turn 2 and on turn 3, they're just gonzo. They're just freaking gonzo. So yeah, this is the darkest discard. I'm Mattress Malone and I will see you in those evil games. So today we will answer the lifelong question. Is Mono Plague discard still a thing? Hope they aren't putting a damper on us. We're going first. I love it. Especially with the Wenchful Strangler into Deadly Dispute. That is delicious. So we're up against a white deck, it seems. You, you like my new hair? I look like Lisa Simpson, don't I? And the Meatog Massacre is also always good. Especially against Mono White. Oh yes, yes. So good against Mono White. So freaking good. Okay. So we will attack in. If they block that is alright with me. But I don't think that they will. And whatever they put on the field here. We can then put the Wenchful Strangler onto that. So that is still okay. And then we can just bring it back, you know? Just to bring it back. Sing it back. Bring it back to me. So, Hamper, go in with the Mono White, eh? Just uh, the typical day in the arena. The Luminarch Aspirant. Okay. No problemo. Well, it will turn into a problemo very soon. Gots to say. We are attacking in. And we're deadly disputing here. And we're putting it onto the Luminarch Aspirant. If they don't sacrifice the Luminarch here, they're kinda lost. So, also no matter what they put down here, we have the Meat Hook Massacre to go for three. So that is very, very good. And then we can start being freaking annoying. The Calarion Spirit. Okay. What will you sacrifice, though? Maybe a little spirit? Who knows? Oh, that is annoying as heck. Just freaking annoying as heck. Okay, so we will see what they sacrifice, though. I think it will be the little spirit. Yeah, why shouldn't they? Okay, this is good, though. This is pretty good, though. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. We can just be a little annoying here. Bringing down the Aldefang Disciple. And then we're bringing down the Acquisition Expert. 
And uh, then we choose whatever they have in hand, we will get rid of everything that's freaking annoying. Mono black versus mono white. The battle of the freaking century. Isn't it? Oh, yes it is. There you go, my friend. You won't like what I'm doing here, but I will do it. Oh my. Yeah, goodbye. You, you are just gonzo. You need to go, my friend. Absolutely need to go. So, if they put the counter somewhere else than the Usher of the Fallen, we can still play the Mitok Massacre and keep our blood on the snow, which would be good. Not gonna lie, it would be good. Well, they're putting the counter there, so we will be blooding on the snow, bleeding on the snow here and making them discard whatever's in their hand. Just uh, not even chilling. Okay, well, we're minimizing the damage. As we're uh, taking three from our Agadim's Awakening here anyways. Good, good. So, paying the three here. Now we even have a card draw, which is very good. We're, we're not it. They will just block, so there is no need in attacking in. There's just no freaking need in attacking in. We will bring back our uh, Acquisition Expert, as it is, uh, you know, a little tougher than the other one. Oh, no way, my friend. No freaking way. And a Paladin class. Okay. Uh, we do have the Professor Onyx now. And that is very good. Very, very good. So what can we get? Oh, my lord. Okay. That was a little, a little bit of nothing. We have to keep back here, because if they do have a land, we will lose our stuff here. We will lose... Okay, the Clarion Spirit. That is all right. That is a pretty much alrighty. We're bringing down the Turgrid. Now we're uh, sacrificing our Acquisition Expert to gain some life back with the uh, Professor Onyx. Drawing some cards. And uh, now we can do it once more. And get ourselves the No Way Out. So no matter what they have in hand here, we will get rid of it. And then we can meet Hook Massacre very soon. And then we can Professor Onyx even sooner. Oh, looks delicious. Looks delicious. Freaking delicious. Push it. Push it. Oh, yes. Yes. No matter what's in your hand, it's mine now. It is a mine now. Get out of here. Get the freaking heck out of here. Yes, I want that. I want that so bad. Okay. So, what can we get here? Uh, yeah. The Graveyard Titan is pretty good. Graveyard Trespasser. I'm sorry. I know the name. So we have a lot of blockers here now. We're getting rid of the Luminarch Aspirant. Mmm. Oh. Freaking delicious. There's nothing they can do anymore. Let's be honest. There's just nothing they can do anymore. Like nothing. We're up against Mono White and we beat him so good. I love it. That's how every single video should start. Oh, Hamper. Are you mad now? Are you mad? Well, they're not. They're attacking in still. Got to admire that. So, uh, yeah. No need for us to do anything. But to, you know, push the minus eight here. And boom! Boom! There is nothing better than a Liliana beatdown. Mm, mm, mm. Beating Mono White. The Liliana minus eight. Oh, too many awesome things put together. So we're up against a green belt in what? Karate? Oh, I freaking love this hand. We have the Shambling Gas to block. It's another mono white deck. Oh, come on, game. Get out of here. Get the heck out of here. So we can still block here, which I like a lot. And uh, make ourselves a treasure, if they even attack in. I mean, there might be a possibility that they don't. The Clarion Spirit. So, I don't think that they will attack in. Okay, that is very good. Very freaking good. So, uh, yeah. They will play at least one card here now. If they have a land, they will give me the land. Very good. And then they play something and we use the No Way Out. And then there's no way out for them. Just uh, to say so to speak. So, they will have at least one card they will play here. At least one. 
Are they just not doing anything? Okay, well, that is all right with me. You still have a no way out. No freaking way out. Very nice. Very freaking nice. So we're just controlling here. Oh my lord. They had all these lands. All of them. Wow. Okay. That is pretty bad for the opponent. But it's not like I care. It's not like I care about their feelings. But whatever they draw here could be good. So yeah. We still need some good stuff. Not gonna lie. The Hive of the Eye Tyrant is pretty good though. And we're putting down the Shambly boy, so that we can start attacking in with our Shambling guest. And, uh... Yeah, maybe we want to sacrifice that. We will find out. But we're now just attacking in with our stuff. It is pretty good. And even if they attack in with the Faceless Haven, we can block it with the Exposition, Acquisition Experte. The Kabira Takedown. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. And the Usher of the Fallen. Still, I couldn't care less. Sooner or later you want to attack in. I know it. I freaking know it. And we're uh, getting pretty close to having everything we want anyways. So, yeah. Alright, we can attack in with that now. Doesn't really matter. I still wish that we would find, you know... Something nice, something like a uh, like a sacrifice outlet. That would be good. Would be very good. So still, the Faceless Haven is a little bit annoying. Not gonna lie, well, we do have the Hive of the Eye Tyrant to block with. So that is alright, eh? Okay. Yes. Perfect. Freaking awesome. Not gonna lie, that is pretty freaking awesome. Because we will get something back here. And that is all I want. So, we're uh, attacking in. I mean, they will take the hit. I'm pretty sure they will. Now we're playing the other snow-covered swamp. I mean, it's a little bit sad that this is our play. But uh, we're still in the lead here. So, I'm okay with that. And uh, we're putting down the acquisition expert. Because why the heck not? Create treasure. Create treasure. Get a 2-2, make ourselves the Vanful Strangler. Okay, so now if they want to attack in here with the Faceless Haven, we can block with these two, and that is very good. We can attack in with the Hive of... And we got another Mono White deck, just like that. Oh, come on, what is happening? Mono White. I thought you were top tier, getting beaten by discard decks. Ah, oh, disgusting, disgusting. Two mono white in a row, and they even went first. They even went first. But a blood on the snow, mm, get out of here. That's everything you want it to be. We're up against Tiro. And I say that Tiro will save us. So we're never ever going first, aren't we? But we do have the no way out. They mulliganed. So yeah, we're keeping this hand. All we need is, you know, one land, and we're happy. Okay, it's mono green this time. Okay, we found the land. That is all we wanted. Literally all we wanted. So we will take a little beating here, but that is all right. We we kind of have to take it. Let's just hope that they're not going overboard here. The primal adversary, that is all right. Pretty much so. Because uh, now they have no more cards to play with. So, yeah. We'll have very, uh, very soon a deadly dispute as well. And if we draw a card here, I might even be playing the Turgrid and starting to sacrifice their stuff. That is also a possibility. I think I will. I mean, I have two Turgrids. I have two of those. So, watch your discard, my friend. Oh my, those were some nice cards to discard. Some very nice cards to discard. So yes, they're drawing a card here, they're dealing us a lot of damage, and we might also be dead here. Oh my, are we dead? No, we're not dead yet. Sacrificing the Zombo here. 
Okay, another blood on the snow. But we're not dead yet, so that is all that matters. All that freaking matters is that we aren't dead yet. One, two, three, four, five. And we do have a blood on the snow, so hey. Okay. Dealing exactly ten here. But we're not dead yet. And that is all that freaking matters. At least to me it is. So we have nothing to show for here. But that is alright. We're still kind of okay. We still have the Turgrid. We still have the Soul Shatter, so yeah. Okay. Also, we do have the Professor Onyx here. So hey, if they want to use their minus five here, we're good. Okay, we're on one li little life. One singular little life. That is no bueno. No freaking bueno. But we're still okay, aren't we? Yeah, we're still okay. I wish I could steal that Gnarled Professor. But hey, you can't always get what you want, right? But you cannot try and... Okay. But we're looking at the top cards. We still have another Soul Shatter here to go with, so that is very good. That means that soon, soon, we might be able to get a Turgrid out with a Soul Shatter. And no matter what they do here, we're being super freaking disruptive still. Okay, so they might be using this here for our Professor Onyx, exiling it, so we can't get it back. But we do have a Turgrid now. So, yeah, I'm still okay. Still freaking okay. And we do have the Vengeful Strangler, so that is also very nice. Oh, I love this card so much, it's so stupid fun. Stupid little fun. So, what you doing here, my friend? Okay. The Hound Tamer. Alright. Do I want to steal that? Well, actually, I do. I do want to steal that. Your Hound Tamer is now my Hound Tamer. Okay. And we're bringing down another uh, Vengeful Strangler. And we are still chilling. They might have something with Haste and Trample that we are afraid of. So, yeah, let's still chill for a little bit. Little bit. We do have the Meat Hook Massacre now. That is very nice, but we also have exact freaking lethal here. Mono green, mono white. Nothing can stop us. Nothing can freaking stop us. Get vengefully strangled. All of you mono decks out there. Mono black is in the house. Mm -mm. I can't believe that we're 3-0 with the Dirty Discard. Two mono white, a mono green deck. We're up against Diddy Muse. Holy smokes. It's crazy to me. It's seriously crazy. Oh, this... I mean, we do have the Meat Hook Massacre, so let's try. We're up against another mono black deck. Okay. Let's say hello and, uh, you know, give him a little zombie. Zombie shake. Okay. They're not doing anything. They're just playing two Hive of the Eye Tyrants. That is fine with me. Okay. Make yourself some pests. We're now bringing down the Aldefang Disciple. And let us see what they draw, uh, throw away here. Oh my lord! Okay, the game is like, yeah, we, uh, we uh, don't want you to uh, lose anymore. Uh, we don't want you to win anymore, so that is why we're now, you know, giving you the exact freaking same deck. Okay, so we're still chilling. They're deadly disputing their pest. Makes sense. But I think they're a pest deck, so yeah. Our Meat Hook Massacre will be very tasty. Very freaking tasty. But dang having cards is absolutely not what we want. Freaking not what we want. Okay. Let's do this now. Put it on the Vestgate Regent. Yes, yes. That is alright with me. I will get rid of one Meat Hook Massacre. One is alright. 
That was a pretty nice draw, not gonna lie. Not gonna freaking lie. So, my friend -o, what are you doing here? I mean, we will get rid of this Vestgate Regent anyways. But they have to sacrifice something, they sacrifice the treasure, uh, makes sense. I would have done the same, I think. So, getting rid of the Acquisition Expert. Putting this one down. And now let's soul shatter this Vestgate region before anything terribly bad happens. Yeah, I don't want anything terribly bad to happen. Uh, we're not putting this one down, as I really need my uh, creatures for their Hive of the Eye Tyrant. The Shambling Boy, okay. They're foretelling something. What the heck are you foretelling? What the heck are you foretelling? I don't like the looks of that. Not at all. So we are attacking in here. And if they want to block here... Oh, I... I was just clicking around. I didn't even think nothing of it. Oh man, that was bad. That was bad. So they are doing it. They're freaking doing it. Alright, so we can bring that back with the blood on the snow sooner or later. So that is absolutely all freaking right. Unless, of course, now they're smart and attacking him with the Hive of the Eye Tyrant. That would be surprisingly good of them. Okay, but I think they want to put something down. Or they're really just attacking in with the Hive of the... are attacking in. Okay, not bad, my friend. Not freaking bad. But they will get rid of my uh, graveyard thingy here. But that is alright. So the only thing that they can throw in our way to stop us is another mono black deck. Interesting. Pretty freaking interesting. My turn. Let's make them discard whatever they have in their hand here. Okay, it's a deadly dispute. So we're still okay. I still think that we're alright. Because we still have this deadly dispute. So yeah. And I think sooner or later we will be able to do something nice. They're not doing anything. That is alright. Let's uh, sacrifice the Aldefang Disciple. We don't really need it anymore. Okay. That is very nice. So no matter what you have in your hand here. It is Gonzo now. Freaking a Gonzo. Yeah, they might be destroying my hive. Of the couldn't care less. Seriously, I couldn't care less. I will bring some nice stuff back soon. I do have my Zombo on the field now. Oh my lord. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Alright. All freaking right. So they're just attacking in with the Hive of the Eye Tyrant here now. Which is a little bit annoying, but not the end of the world annoying. We might find something nice sooner or later. So they're getting rid of the Elephant Disciple. Makes sense. Makes absolute sense. But still, I really hope that we can find something to work here with. Would be good. Would be very good. So. What are we bringing back here? I think nothing right now. Come on, seriously. We really need something good here. Something to work with. Would be nice. Would be very freaking nice. But before they get rid of all of... Well, no, I don't want to destroy my own creatures. I just don't. I just freaking don't. The Callius Blood Mage. Okay. They will draw a card here. I'm pretty sure of it. Oh, they're not. Okay. Okay. They're still going in with the Hive. That is so freaking annoying. So ridiculously freaking annoying. So I really need something good here. Thank you so freaking much. Thank you uh, so much. So can we do more than this? If we play this...
If they have a removal, I will be very sad about it. Very, very sad about it. But if they do have a removal, we still have our blood on the snow, so everything is still okay. And the chance of them having removal aren't the highest here. But we will find out. The poison, the cook. Okay, they had a removal. But that also means that we have the blood on the snow now available for us. Oh, right. Oh, come on, game. Come on. I'm a little bit saddened here, not gonna lie. Not gonna freaking lie. Okay, so they're beating us with their stupid Hive of the Eye Tyrant, like there's no freaking tomorrow. That's a little bit annoying. And I really hope that we can find something other than a freaking land. Are you kidding me? Now we have to do this just to bring back a creature. Whatever's in your hand, I don't want to see it. Holy smokes. So we're dead to Hive of the Eye Tyrant because we're drawing nothing but stupid stuff. So. There's one Hive of the Eye Tyrant. If they draw one more land, we're super freaking dead. Super freaking dead. So I really hope that we find something other than a land here. Would be good. Would be very nice. Come on. Oh, are you kidding me, game? Are you seriously kidding me, game? They will find a land now. And then they can attack in with two Hive of the Eye Tyrants. That is what's going to happen. Okay, the Acquisition Expert. Well, that is alright. You can have my meat hook. All I need is one single creature. One single creature. Come on, that they really had everything they needed here was just brutal. Just freaking brutal. I really need a creature here or I'm just dead. You know, just freaking dead. Nine lands. Nine freaking lands in the first 24 cards. It's okay. It's an okay land ratio, but still. That means that we will draw all the lands now. All of them. You know, the only thing the game could do to stop us was to present us with a little bit more luckier mono black deck. They didn't even play any new cards. They're just getting rid of all of our graveyard here. We have no more meat hook massacres. We have no removal for the hive of the eye tyrant right now, which is so annoying. So freaking annoying. So if we can get like a blood on the snow or something, did they just leave? Did they just... Is this our win now? Because they left. Holy smokes. They still have four. Four freaking a timeout. So we will sit here for two minutes now? Oh my lord. Two minutes. Two minute timeout. Alrighty. Nothing I can do about it. Like seriously? If they just uh, left the arena, there's nothing. Oh, they're back. Okay, nice. Nice. Let's give him this snoozy one. This is so good. This is actually so good. Okay. Oh, freaking K. So that means that we can get rid of the Hive of the Eye Tyrant. They will be attacking it with everything. Are they now? I think they will. I mean, they have so many Hive of the Eye Tyrants, it's not even funny anymore. It's not even freaking funny anymore. Oh, man. Oh, my lord. Come on, man. Are you seriously now slow playing here like heck? You have one thing to do, to attack in. Yeah, this snooze button is very good. Let's also, like, shake our hand to, to do it in their general direction. Oh, my lord. I really hope we find a very nice top deck here. Otherwise, we're just super screwed. If we find a land, we're dead. If we find a land, we're dead. Let's just... Oh, they had enough lands to do it. Yeah. Nice. Freaking nice. Freaking nice. The only... I don't even want to wait anymore. They're taking so much... But the only thing that could stop us was another mono black deck. The only thing. With three Hive of the Eye Tyrants. Three. Three. Oh, man. So the game realized that the only thing that can stop Mono Black is Mono Black. Also, them slow playing really grinded my gears. Saggy. It was me. I was laying on the sofa. Okay, that's Shaggy, I know. Okay. Well, as we're finally going first for once, I will keep this hand. And if we're up against a mono white deck or something like that, 
I will be very happy with this hand. It's Orzov. Okay. We're not putting down the Meat Hook Massacre yet. But we will be putting down the No Way Out. What? Peculiar. Freaking peculiar. So, No Way Out for you, my friend. I really hope we find some land. I really hope we do. But at least we will have a nice little Zombo. Yeah, discarding two cards in the early game is always freaking annoying. Okay. Interesting. Pretty interesting. Let's make him discard even more. Like, why the heck not? Why the freaking heck not? We didn't draw a land here, which is very annoying for us. We're going first, and now we're behind already because we didn't find a land. Well, we're making him discard the land as well. That is also very good. We're keeping the zombie for now. Because who knows, maybe it becomes important for us. Still no land. Still no freaking land. That is very bad game. Bad game. Very bad game. Very bad game. Okay. So if they don't do anything, we are good. Now we have the acquisition expert, so yeah, I'm okay. If they want to discard a card by, sacrifice, by targeting my graveyard trespasser, that is like our game plan. That is what we want him to do. Okay, so I think this might be a, uh, I don't know, a Starnham Unleashed or something. Oh, Behold the Multiverse. Okay, okay. So we're very far behind for one singular reason. We couldn't find land for like two turns in a row. Two draws, no lands. Very bad. Bad game. Very bad game. So this is a board wipe, I think. The Shadow's Verdict. Oh man, brutal. Well, at least we got that going for us, don't we? So it is an extra turn, isn't it? It's just an extra turn. Okay, so all of your beautiful cards that you just drew are gone now. Oh, freaking finally. Freaking uh, finally. But let's do this. I think this is annoying as heck for them. If this is a counter spell, we can bring it back later. Okay. Let's be freaking annoying as heck. Just, you know, doing turgritty stuff. We're also attacking in here now. There's no need to keep back anymore. So, we do have the soul shatters. We do have the blood on the snows. Everything is bueno. If they bring down a planeswalker or whatever, we can just... And it's the extra turn. Oh, it's not. They're not freaking doing the extra turnage. Okay. So, we're chilling here. Maybe they play something that we don't like. And in that case, I just, you know, untap the Turgrid's Lantern end of turn. Make them lose some more life. Oh, yes. I think the Lantern is so good in control matchups. It's just so perfect. It's just so freaking perfect. Now we even have a Turgrid to go with the Lantern. What else do you want? Nothing, I tell you. Nothing. They have a counter spell, they better use it now. Okay. It's looking pretty good. Pretty freaking good. They could draw cards once, and that was it. So, do they have a. Oh, okay, a Baleful Master. Well, the Baleful Master is alright. Couldn't care about less about that. Still, they need to do something sooner or later. They're still on six mana, which means that they could have uh, something. But we will find out what it is. Oh, they have a counter spell here. Okay, they're being very, very careful with it. Very careful. Come on, play something. Play something. Do it. I know you want to do it. They did it. They freaking did it. The mad lads. The freaking mad lads. Okay, well, we do have the Professor Onyx now, which is very good. We're getting the Acquisition Expert. Also very nice. So... They can discard the last freaking card if they want to. They did. It was a counter spell. So are you taking extra turns now, Saggy? We all know you have at least one. Or is the are these even more behold the multiverses? Or just board wipes? I think they might just be board wipes. Holy smokes, this is the third behold the multiverse. In not even half their deck. That is pretty crazy. Pretty really crazy. 
We're going with the acquisition expert here. Because they will have to lose life. Oh, the side coming. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. So you want to discard whatever's in your hand, don't you? And uh, we're bringing down the graveyard trespasser. Yeah, I think we are. So, lose the life. Discard your card. The choice is freaking yours. We will now make you uh, lose some more. So we're going to our graveyard. Because we want them to lose life. Oh, so good. It's so freaking good. What you gonna do here, my friend? What are you going to do? There is not much you can do. I'm... I gotcha. I gotcha. I freaking gotcha. Yeah. Doomscar. Okay. Doomscar, my friend. All we need to do now is to play a spell. And we're free... Oh, there it goes. There is our victory. Oh, the Turgrid's... Lantern victory! Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. You're dead. You're dead. Oh! Mm, we got an Onyx victory! We got a Turgrid victory! What else do you want? Nothing, I tell you. Nothing. Mm -mm. Turns out the only thing that can stop a mono black deck is a mono black deck that's just a little bit more lucky. We gotta say. All these Hive of the Eye Tyrants that the opponent had got us really good. But before we get into the deck, I want to remind you of the giveaway. Check the video from two days ago. Monday we will announce the winners in the live stream. And uh, what would the giveaway be without all my patrons and members that make the giveaway even possible? So I want to say a special thanks to starting with my Zed with the Great Hardest, Randy Campbell, John, Chris Stevens, Tom Tom, Vince Mage, Vicky White, John Val, Emanuele Coloniato, Felipe Rodriguez Diaz, Jeremiah Franza, Mike, Grey Wolf, Unmercy88, Steve O, Jonathan Norton. A special thanks to our Gold Span Dragons, mm, Waffles, Randy K. Donald T, Jan Newman, Simster625, William Wyatt, Tim Clandy, Rico Colombaroli, Marco Marino, your boy Big Bizzle, Mr. Mild, Damien Tay, James Wade, Monkey Rage, Jack, Tab Jack Top, and Jefferson Meyer. And a special thanks, of course, to our Nico Bolas, God Pharaohs, Earl, Chris Katowski, Grandoff, Danny Montgomery, William Smith, Ario Wolf, The Lacrime, Brian O'Reilly, and Mal Chija. You guys and gals are pretty freaking sweet indeed. I couldn't have done all of these awesome giveaways that we have done for the last 5,000 people without all of you. I wouldn't just be able to. I couldn't pay for that. So I'm very freaking grateful. And if you want to become part of the Malone Cora as a patron or a member, you can check the button down below. That is not the official name. Don't you worry. There will be an official name sooner or later when we all decide on it. Also, it's so hot in here right now. You can check the button down below. But if you don't have any hard earned cash share, don't you worry about it. Sweet Summer Chat, there's always other ways to support the channel, like subscribing. It's free and it's written in Reddit in here, so it's true. So yeah, we beat all these mono white decks. I can't believe how efficient this deck was in the end. I really cannot believe it. In playtesting I had a lot of fun, but I thought it was a fluke. I thought we would go 3-2, but to go 4-1, to one, that is insane. That is freaking insane. And as I said, the only thing that could stop us was another mono black deck that was just too freaking lucky with the Hive of the Eye Tyrant. So yeah, it's the Hive of the Eye Tyrant, the Wild of the Night. They had them all. They had everything they needed. It was just, uh, just a smidgen too good. But hey, I'm not complaining. We went for the one. It was super fun. And I hope you enjoyed as well. So if you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, share the video with your friend, Join the Discord, all of the good stuff. I'm Matches Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow.